station at 5.30. The big story at 5.30, technology you've never even imagined coming to a new city being built in Osceola County. The new station's Robert Guadarrama is live with a story you will see on just one station. Exciting stuff, Robert. Yeah, you know, pretty exciting, Charles and Heather. This is really a, a real life Tomorrowland being built just outside of Kissimmee. You can see a few buildings already up. A major player in this, though, is looking to make this a test city for tech. You're actually going to be living in the future here. The future is under construction at a new development in Osceola County. The first building is part of a 280 acre smart city called Neo City. We plan the city here to be one of the first uh, of smart cities made from the ground up in the world. The city is being built using the latest tech and environmentally friendly design. Technology industry companies will make up most of the development, but there will also be housing, retail space, and a STEM high school, which opens this fall. It's meant to be uh, sort of an incubator and a, and a home for people with the mo very modern technology. And Worldwide tech company LG has its eyes set on Neo City. Looking to build a 30 acre mixed use city center. It plans to use its smart technology in every aspect of the development. And they want to use it sort of what they call a test bed, which means they want to put their best technology in and make sure it all works perfectly and all that kind of thing. So even the people living here will be part of research in their daily lives. The county hoping the tech hub diversifies the economy and attracts needed high paying jobs. So we expect the jobs here to be um, very top jobs and you know we, we're mostly a tourism economy here and those are not high paying jobs so this is something that many of us who love this county deeply have dreamed about for a while. The county is hoping to sign a contract with LG by this fall. Construction on the smart city's so-called downtown could start as soon as next year. Reporting live in Osceola County, I'm Robert Guadarrama, Fox 35 News.